helper verbs. The following seven lectures, including this one, will together address the last speech of a part in Japanese. Helper verbs. Helper verb is not necessarily a clear name. In fact, the confusion starts from the Japanese name in the first place. In Japanese, it is jodoshi. However, this group of words is not jodoshi helper verb, as many behave as the adjectives. Neither jodoshi verb assisting word. As they do equally help adjectives and others in the declinable group, as a Japanese idiom, jodoshi is named beside joshi. Basing on a fundamental feature, jodoshi has conjugation, comparing that joshi does not. That the English translation here carries out the main feature. But the learner should not be caught by it too much. Further, some English textbooks use the term suffix, but this choice of word may be more misleading. Jodoshi is not a part of a word, but rather it has features to behave individually, to work with a different type of words, even another helper verb side by side. With the knowledge of a helper verb, we now finally covered all the basic of a grammatical items that became possible to read real sentences in a classical writing. Here is one short example: "Kaku ari shitoki sugite, yo no naka ni ito mono hakanaku, to ni mo kaku ni mo tsukade, yo ni furu hito ari keri." Briefly rewrite it into modern Japanese. So at the toki ga sugite, yo no naka ni isso hakanaku, nani ni mo tsukazu toshi toru hito ga ita. In this short paragraph, we see six words of verbs and adjectives. Among them, two were used without any helper verbs. One. Used with the te, one used with the de, both connecting particles. Setsuzo kujoshi, which similarly assist a verb but do not have conjugation. Then the rest of two each worked with the helper verb. This is a good example to indicate how and how many helper verbs were used in the classical writing. We will need to look into each helper verb. Carefully examining this example, we began to realize that for each given helper verb, there are three elements we need to know, namely meaning provided by the helper verb, required ending of the word being assisted, conjugation of the helper verb. In the following lectures, we will apply three color code, red, purple, green, to indicate each element. For the helper verb in the learning, the type of conjugation and helper verb is following the same structure in verbs and adjectives. However, different from verbs and adjectives, a discussion on the helper verb normally based on a given word, not a group of words. A learner has to memorize the words one by one at the first place. It often be rather complicated. The following discussion will based on the meaning of a helper verbs, six groups in this order listed here. See you at the next lecture.